So click-through rate is probably the most important metric on YouTube. What is it and how can you use it to your advantage to get more views and to have the YouTube algorithm recommend you to more people? Let's get into the video. Hey guys, Evan Adio here, bringing you more media tips and tools for churches, but this, this piece of advice goes for everybody. In this video, I'm gonna share with you three things you need to know that can increase your click-through rate dramatically today. Like you can start implementing this today and it'll increase click-through rate. But what is click-through rate? So click-through rate is whenever someone sees your thumbnail, your title, your description, whatever, so they see your video because YouTube recommended it to them and they click through. That is the click-through rate. A normal average percentage of click-through rate is between two and five percent. So how do you find your click-through rate? Well you go into YouTube analytics on your channel and you click reach and then you scroll down a little bit and boom there's this little triangle looking thing that has the impressions and how they led to watch time and click-through rate is in the middle they are sandwiched in between the two. Why is click-through rate important? Well, YouTube sees your click-through rate and decides whether or not the video seems valuable to the viewer. Now, the next most important metric on YouTube is actually percentage watched because they click through and how much of the video do they actually watch? That's another video for another day though. So three things you need to do to increase your click-through rate. One, make better thumbnails. Now don't just leave this video because these three tips, the last one especially, I don't think you've heard before. And if you have, I want you to let me know in the comments. Give me a fist bump in the comments because it's some serious strategies. But you gotta make better thumbnails. You gotta make it more pleasing to the eye. I have full trainings on this channel about that if you wanna learn more. Have a person in the thumbnail and don't have much text. If you do have text, make it big. Some people don't even use text and they just put whatever they're talking about in the video in the thumbnail. But a good way to learn more about thumbnails is the next time you search something on YouTube, say, how to fix my dishwasher from leaking, look at the thumbnails and before you click on any videos, decide, wait, why did I choose this video? And then make your thumbnails similar to that. The next most important thing you need to do to get a better click-through rate is develop your title in a way that people are actually searching for and make it human optimized, not robot or algorithm optimized. SEO is an important term and I understand a lot of people like to talk about SEO, but the algorithms are updating, so now it's more directed to the viewer and the human rather than the algorithm and the robots that are pushing it to the human. They care more about what the person wants to see than what they think the person should see. So a keyword tool that I use to create titles is vidIQ, and I actually did a whole video on how I create titles. I'll link it up right there if you wanna go and watch that next. And the third most important thing, I don't know if you knew that you could do this. Whenever you're searching for things that people are searching for through vidIQ and you find that, you put that in the first line of your description. Then whenever someone searches something or the video is recommended to them, that part of it that they searched is bold so that way they know the video is exactly what they searched for. And that definitely will help through with click-through rate, even among a lot of competitors, if it is a competitive search term you're going for. Now, I did a whole training on SEO that I'd like you to watch next. Very important, I talk more about human optimizing rather than algorithm optimizing, and I'll link it up right there. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.